Welcome, folks. Proverbs chapter 27. Bitter cold today, but the dog loves it. Proverbs chapter 27. Very good advice in this first verse. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Forgot my glasses. Let another man praise thee, and let not thine own mouth. A stranger, not thine own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty. But a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But whoso is able to stand before envy, open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The full soul lo loatheth an honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, neither go, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity. For better is a neighbor that has that is near than a brother far off. My son be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Whoso hideth her hideth the wind and the ointment of his right hand which derayeth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look, look well to thy herds. For riches are not forever, and doth the crown endure to every, every generation? The hay appeareth, and the tender grass showeth itself, and herbs of, of the mountain are gathered. The land are for thy clothing, and the goats are for the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maiden.